Hey guys, welcome back to another Evbro2 video. I feel like I'm making so many videos right now, not all that I'm immediately, immediately posting, that I'm gonna like, have like 50 videos, I'm like, huh, I have a lot of videos to post. But, this is a video that must be made. So if you're not an NBA basketball fan, this might not be the video for you. But, the NBA is doing this play-in tournament thing, and I don't know all the details about this, so this might be not the greatest video. I probably just lost every single person who clicked on this video. But anyway, I'm going to be telling you what I know about this play-in tournament, which I really fully started to understand like a few days ago. Um, by the time I post this, because I have so many videos to make, it might be years since I remember. Just kidding. Anyways, so... Seven through ten seed now will have to apparently play in. So seven, eight, nine, and ten seed. If you don't know NBA playoffs that well, the seven seed and eight seed always just make it in because it's one through eight, one versus eight, you know. And anyways, but this year the nine and ten are gonna have a chance. So this is what I read on like CBS Sports or some hopefully reliable thing. Is that the seven seed and eight seed are gonna play against each other? Also, one thing I don't know is if the if it's gonna be like a three game series or if it's just gonna be one game. But anyways, the seven seed is gonna play the eight seed. The winner will get the seven seed in the playoffs. So let's say say the seven seed wins, they'll actually get the seven seed. But the eight seed season is not over. They'll still have a chance, and we'll get back to that in a second. Then the nine seed and ten seed will play. Um, and then the winner of that won't get a specific spot yet. They'll just move on to the next round. Well, so let's say the 9 seed wins. Then the 10 seed season is over. Then the 8 seed, let's get back to them, and the 9 seed who just won. So the loser of the 7-8 will play the winner of the 9-10 to get the 8 seed. So in this scenario, it's 8 versus 9. And let's just say the 9 wins. So the 9 becomes the 8 seed in the real NBA playoffs. So uh, currently... Let's just do the Western Conference. I believe the seeds are 7 Mavericks, 8 Grizzlies, 9 Warriors, and 10 Spurs. By the time the NBA playoffs comes, that could totally change. But, so that would mean the 7 seed Mavs would play the 8 seed Grizzlies. And let's just say the Mavs win, so they would get the 7 seed in the playoffs. Then, the Warriors and Spurs play. Let's just say Steph Curry goes out and once again scores 1,345 points in a game. Then the Warriors would move on to play the Grizzlies because they lost in the 7-8. Warriors won in the 9-10. Spurs season over. Sorry, Greg Popovich. Then the Lakers and Grizzlies would put Warriors and Grizzlies would play each other. And uh, Steph Curry. Let's just say Steph Curry wins again. And then they would become the 8 seed. And of course the Mavericks already had gotten that 7 seed. So Warriors become the 8 seed. Grizzlies sadly season over. Last year they lost to the Trailblazers and that playing tournament they did for the bubble thing and just because this video is long kind of by evbro2 standards I'm gonna kind of hit you with the outro right here um so i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys had some got some useful information about the nba play-in tournament and i hope you guys enjoy the playoffs of course and uh, i hope this is not the last nba slash sports um video if you guys want to see more nba slash sport videos hit that like button of course if you're new if you want hit that subscribe button and i'll see you in the next video